Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another appointment with Going Expert. This is Rosella, and today our guest is Chiara. Hi, Chiara. Hello, Moi from Finland. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Chiara lives in um, Finland, and today she's here to share with us a little bit about her story, but also her feelings in Finland, uh, how she found home in uh, in Finland. Before deep diving in the topic of today, I want to introduce Chiara a little bit, and especially her social media accounts. So she is a blogger. She has a blog and an account Instagram. The name is uh, A Brunette in Finland, where she share a little bit about uh, her life, indeed, in Finland. Chiara, what about your uh, life there and what about your social medias yes okay so i opened my blog in 2021 so two years ago already and uh, i did it because i noticed that many people abroad didn't know anything about finland so somehow i wanted to promote this very beautiful country where i'm living in so in your blog we can find some uh... Uh, stories and details about Finland then? Yes, absolutely. I uh, speak about, you know, habits, uh, customs, traditions, but also some festivities and some places, especially in Helsinki, because it's the city where I'm living in. That's great. So if you guys are curious uh, about uh, how people live in Finland, and what about this uh, uh, culture and the mentality over there, you can uh, check Chiara blog and also the Instagram account, both links are in the description of this, um, of this video. So just uh, check it out. Um, today, you are going to tell us a little bit more about your experience. How did you end up in Finland? Yes, that's a funny story. So basically, when I was 17, I was a punk slash gold girl and I was into rock music. I, I still am. <laughs> uh, so yes I discovered the band let's say that I used to know them already but when I first listened to them I didn't like them okay but then in 2011 I gave them another chance because yeah I had a, a little bit of a sad experience in love okay <laughs> so yes so then I fell in love with them and especially with the lead singer, Ville Valo, who is uh, very popular, not just in Finland, but all over the world. Okay. Uh, so yeah, basically I uh, moved here because of them and uh, my interest for fin Finland, uh, Finnish culture and its language began just because of them. Okay, okay. What's yeah. the name of the group again? Him. Him. Yeah. Interesting story. I, I don't know about uh, about this specific music, but yeah, I'm going to check it out. I'm gonna, now you may be curious. And um, do they sing in uh, Finnish or in English? No, actually they sing in English. Okay. Uh, but at the moment, they're not together anymore. They oh. split in 2017. But the lead singer uh, is still active. He has a solo uh, career now and uh, yeah, he's touring around the world. Okay. So, yeah, at least I'm still following him. <laughs> yes, yes. That's, uh, that's a very curious story because normally we are used to hear from people that they move for work. So job opportunities or for yes. the partner, for studying and then mm -hmm. they stayed. Mm -hmm. But moving or choosing a country because of something that you just like, <laughs> art, yes, that's, that's uh, quite uh, unique. You were brave. You know what? I'm not the only one. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> there are so many girls who move because of this band. Wow. Okay. So maybe if we check it out, then we're going to all move to Finland because of that. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yes. Okay, cool. And, and how it is now? So you made this choice uh, that was a little bit crazy in a way. And now you told me that you are um, living there for almost five years. How did yes. Finland uh, treat you then? Yeah, well, if I stayed, it's because I really like this country. And the first time I visited Finland, well, I was in Helsinki. 
but I felt like home. Like okay. I felt like I always belong here. Before moving, I've been here twice. Okay. Uh, the first time it was for a, a very intensive Finnish course. Uh, and the second time was for an internship after my bachelor degree in uh, linguistic mediation. And uh, yeah, this um, internship was in a private school uh, in a village close to Tampere, the second biggest city of Finland. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was absolutely an amazing experience because I got to meet so many people and uh, understand, understand the culture a little bit better. Um, so I was teacher assistant there. And, okay. and also I organized an Italian course, like extra course. Okay. Then, uh, yeah, I moved to London and uh, I stayed there for a year. I mm. got my master's degree, but you know what? London was too much for me. Like it's still mm. one of my favorite cities, but too hectic, too chaotic, too... Too crowded, uh, probably, crowded. yeah. Yes, no, not for me. Too many people in there. So, yeah, then I was thinking, I'm gonna give another chance to Finland. And so in 2018, I moved here and uh, I started uh, working as an au pair in a Finnish family. And uh, like, if you're planning to move abroad, mm -hmm. like, I would totally recommend this experience because you can dive into the... Oh, totally, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's one of the most powerful experiences, actually, because Absolutely. you you, yes. you basically do everything the way they do that. You live with them, you speak the language, you get to learn the culture itself. Yeah, five years after, I'm still here. I survived. I managed. I have to say that Finland treated me really well. And it wasn't difficult to find a job. Uh, yeah, even if then uh, Corona came and uh, mm. ruined everything. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, I was uh, unemployed uh, uh, for a short period. And then after that, uh, thanks to my Finnish dad, I found another job. I love Finland because everything works here, like from. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, a bureaucracy point of view and also like the transports oh my god transports are, are so efficient and so in time so yeah, yeah. I know what you mean <laughs> and yes. comes from south of Italy because we both co come from south of different regions but yes south of Italy for us uh, public transportation when they work well is such a amazing <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes that, absolutely so, yeah. yeah something that we shouldn't underestimate <laughs> totally totally no, yeah no. <laughs> indeed mm -hmm. and you say you survive how do you survive winter over there <laughs> yes <laughs> so as i mentioned i was living in london mm -hmm. which was pretty humid and uh, cold at the same time and gray all the time so you know <laughs> I I don't mind. I don't mind if the weather is gray or uh, it's snowing. I like snow. I like snow. Uh, maybe we have uh, a little bit of like too much snow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, some years. But what can you say? Like, this is Finland. Uh, this is not Spain yeah. or south of Italy. Yeah, uh, you you must be prepared anyway to. Yeah, you are going yeah, to yeah. encounter. Eh? I was talking, uh, there is a video moving to Finland that uh, I recorded with Rael, and she said, since I start to live here in Finland, actually, I realize I'm a winter person because I'm enjoying okay. the snow and the yeah. winter even more. But now I found out that I'm a winter person. Mm. I love winter, I love the snow because here we have snow like for three months straight. And it's all covered in snow. And, and if you enjoy sports, uh, uh, outdoor sport, sports in, um, in wintertime, you really have all the possible options oh, here. And I believe that probably it is also because those countries, Finland, 
is a winter country, right? Is mm, absolutely is, um, for a long time is quite dark. Snow is like a lot of snow during the year. Yeah. Winter is very long, so it people is. and infrastructure and everything is ready for that. Then absolutely yes, they are one hundred percent ready for that. Yes, it can be a challenge the way you feel about it mm -hmm, not mm -hmm. probably the way you live yeah. in the city yeah Everything yeah and the, and the secret is wear warm clothes mm -hmm. that's it yeah okay. end of the story <laughs> nothing else like it's bearable i would okay. say but if you're not a winter person then don't come here <laughs> yeah of course then then it's gonna be too challenging yeah. probably yeah, yeah. What don't you like about Finland instead? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. I don't like two things. Mm. So, the alcohol culture. Okay. Things drink way too much for my standards. Taste is, oh my God, no. It's embarrassing, to be okay. honest. Okay, okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also the lack of, of spontaneity. What I mean to say that everything should be planned in advance because Finn's agenda is always fully booked. <laughs> yes. It's a Nordic issue eh? in the Netherlands. Yes, it is uh, a Nordic the same. issue. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. How important is it to speak the language? Professionally speaking, but also for a social point of view. Uh, speaking only English, is that a barrier? Okay, no, I wouldn't say it's a barrier because uh, Finns can actually speak quite a good English. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I would say that especially in the capital region, uh, Finnish, speaking Finnish is not necessary. Mm -hmm. No, because there are so many uh, English uh, uh, job offers. So you can uh, easily manage just with English. Okay. But I would say that Finnish... Uh, would help you because you know it would widen your possibilities when uh, Finns notice that you can speak actually their language they are so mind blown like oh my god you can speak Finnish because <laughs> it's such a difficult language yeah that nobody is really interested in you know studying it of course but yeah, when, when they see that people actually try their best to express themselves in, in Finnish, then they're like, oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> yes. And uh, they appreciate yeah. the effort that you are. Yeah, yeah they appreciate. We totally appreciate your effort. Okay. But if you're planning to live in a small village or somewhere up in the north, because I live in the south of mm -hmm. Finland, uh then i would say yes study finish okay. it would be better how difficult it is <laughs> <laughs> it's very very difficult i've been studying it since uh, 2012 because uh yeah when i still was in italy uh through the finnish embassy and the finnish association in rome so yeah it, like the grammar is quite difficult but once you learn it it's a pretty logical language okay. and it, yeah it has 15 cases mm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah and also like uh i feel already good. overwhelmed but <laughs> yes 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 but uh and also yeah we have to consider that it's not uh um like european uh, uh, language mm -hmm. because its family is called the uh, Ugro Finnic uh, mm -hmm. root, so something like that. Okay. So it's totally different from any other uh, European language. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, then uh, it needs an effort to to learn it. But the good news is that if people move uh, to the main cities, then they also can take their time before learning because they can manage to speak English. Absolutely, more, yes. But also with friends, because it's not a barrier. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like years by years, uh, like many, many foreign people are um, moving here. It's not such a crowded 
country no, generally no, speaking. No, no, no. Yeah. We and are, as you said, are... there are not so many info uh, about about Finland. So that was also that is also a nice thing that you are sharing. Yeah, yeah. my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. Um, how do you see yourself? I, I you say that when you you went there for the first time, you felt home. Are hmm. you still feeling home over there? Are you picturing yourself there in the future, or mm. you know it's a period and then you might need <laughs> to move somewhere else? Hmm. Let's say that. Um, at, yeah, at this moment of my life, I still love living here and I also tend to live in the present because mm -hmm. you know what, uh, in the Finnish language and in the Finnish mentality, there's no future, like the future tense doesn't exist. Oh. So we focus more on the present. Wow. So at the moment, I would say... Yes, yes, I <laughs> okay. I would say yes. Yeah. Uh, you never know. Like oh, nowadays, oh, yeah. yeah, nowadays it's so easy to move somewhere else, especially in Europe. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you never you know. know, but for now it's a yes. Yeah, but I, yeah, for now, yes. I really like what you say. You had this. Uh, um, you, you talk about the language and the culture, not yes. the reality. So, like, there is mm -hmm. no future. There is no future tense, and no. this is something that I really love because I always say that learning the language makes understand better the culture. Absolutely, so that's an example. Same opinion. People live in the present to the point that the future, the way we think about it in grammar doesn't exist in their language. I'd like to ask you a last question that is, you are a woman. Um, what you would like to say to all the women that are listening to us? It's, it's easy to be a woman in, uh, in Finland. Finland is one of the most equal country uh, in the world. And there is also uh, a day uh, where we celebrate the Tasa Arvo, this day is called Tasa Arvo mm -hmm. uh, so which means the uh, equality between sexes day. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it's in March. Uh, on this day, which celebrates uh, Minna Kant. Uh, Minna Kant was a writer, Finnish writer, uh, the, the, the very first Finnish writer who was a woman uh so yeah and like in her novels uh she already was clearly a feminist okay. so she was facing such an intense uh, and uh, very feministic topics that's from uh, everything started then uh, it yes was, it exists in finland so historically it was one of the first country where a woman could actually go and vote. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Thank you, Chiara, for all the info that you shared and this glitch in the Finnish culture. I really like that. I will need you to write uh, uh, the name of this festivity that you said because I'm not I will. I able will. to write them. Yes. <laughs> so we can also yes. put them in the description and people can check it out if they are curious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Once again, in the description, there's going to be the link to your blog and your Instagram, Instagram accounts. Everybody, and thank everybody for uh, listening to this video. Bye. Maika, bye.